Welcome to Iliamna, a small fishing village in a remote part of Alaska. We're outside a building here that could lead to the world's largest open pit copper mine. That mine has caused quite a ruckus nationally and here in the state. Some people fear it could decimate the state's largest export, the fishing industry. And soon, even the federal government may be weighing in. My interest is in, in designing a project that works, that, that protects the environment, and provides opportunities for Alaska. His name is John Shively, and he is the face of Pebble Limited Partnership. A proposed open pit copper mine in Alaska's Bristol Bay region. It has the potential to uncover nearly $300 trillion worth of minerals. But it happens to be at the headwaters of the main waterways that flow into the Bering Sea. Waters that are home to the world's largest sockeye salmon run. In a nearby village, a Yupik Eskimo family lives a subsistence lifestyle, working hard to preserve the fish for the year. We, we have salmon every day. Would you be opposed to something like a uh, pebble mine coming to your area? For my uh, opinion, I mean, they call this the, the watershed and the spawning ground. That's always my concern for clean water. But for those who work at Pebble, they're just grateful to have a job. There's a lot of people in our community that is totally against Pebble, and we get put down for working here. But are they going to pay my bills? So we have an opportunity to provide jobs to Native people where jobs do not exist. We're at the top of a watershed near three small streams out of literally hundreds and hundreds of streams that feed the eight uh, watersheds in the Bristol Bay region. So this idea that we could basically destroy the whole fishery, it, it, it just isn't even possible, even not remotely possible. 200 miles away in Anchorage, the opposition works day and night to block pebble. All open pit mines leach into the water system. What we claim is that our fish and our crab and halibut are all come from pristine waters of Alaska. Guess what? That all gets changed overnight. That's just one of the voices that captured the attention of the EPA. The federal agency released a preliminary assessment on the mine last year. The report used hypothetical mine plans to determine if Pebble Mine could cause environmental damage. The EPA says, quote, death of fish would occur rapidly in one scenario if there was a wastewater treatment failure. The final study could decide if the mine is in violation of the Clean Water Act, putting an end-all halt to the project. It's a really very superficial study. The mine they've designed is a mine that could not be permitted in the 21st century in this country. When we're ready with our plans, we'll go into the permitting process. That's when the project should be judged. But one question remains unanswered. Would you want a mine in your backyard? I'm Marina Cracciolo. And I'm Diana Blass with the Mandil News Service reporting from McClatchy.